Hey everybody, Terry White here, and I'm happy to take you through the brand new, hot off the presses, Adobe Express Mobile Public Beta. That's right, the, the new interface for Adobe Express, which you've enjoyed over the web for the past year, is now available on mobile. So let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone. All right, so I've got the Mobile Express app launched. One of the first things I'm greeted with is pretty much the same interface that I would see had I been in my web browser on my computer, but I'm on my phone, so I'm able to do this on the go. I even have some generative um, AI capabilities powered by Firefly. But one of the first things I'm gonna do is go ahead and just start a project from scratch. So we'll just do a search uh, for the kind of template that I want. I'm, I've already typed in the text, so I don't have to type it again. Happy anniversary. And then I can say, show me all the templates that are happy anniversary related. And uh, these are cool. I kind of like this one. This I like the feel of this one. It's simple, uh, simple design and minimalist. And I'm just going to go ahead and customize that template. Now, uh, obviously, this is a template, so these are not my cousins. I'm going to go ahead and, and move this reef down so I can replace this photo in the back with the actual happy couple um, that just celebrated their wedding anniversary, and I want to send them this greeting. So I'm going to upload from my device. I took a nice photo of them a while back at a birthday party, and uh, there they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that photo, drop it in, and it drops it in right in that same shape that was already there. So I don't have to figure any of that out. Now I can move the reef back uh, for now. And the next thing I'm gonna do need to do is obviously their names are not Eric and Allie. We're just gonna go ahead and type their names in and they are James and we'll use the ampersand, Sandra. There we go. So James and Sandra, they're already in, good. And just maintain the font and the look and feel and I'm ready to go. Now at this point, I could just send it as is. I could download it as a graphic or send it and post it on social media, but we can do so much more. One of the things I noticed is as I tapped, I'm, I'm selected kind of like on this textured background that I'm not really digging. So I'm gonna go ahead and just simply delete that background. I don't want it. Now I could change the color of the background to a different color and that's cool, but what I really would rather do is just go ahead and replace that background with something new. So I hit the plus sign and that will give me the ability to upload my own photo, grab one from stock or my favorite option, especially on my phone on the go, is the ability to generate something uh, using generative AI powered by Firefly. So we'll do a portrait style image. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do something like roses and hearts, a simple prompt for an anniversary. And I want the rendering style to be a photo. So let's go ahead and uh, just simply generate that. And again, using the power of Firefly built into Express on mobile, it will give me four results to start with. If I don't like those results, I can go ahead and add more or uh, pick one of the ones that it gives me. And there are my first four results. And these are all pretty beautiful, pretty good, especially since they don't exist anywhere else and I don't have to worry about anyone else having these exact ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one as my background and let's go ahead and just knock, knock that in. And obviously it just pops in as a graphic that you can move around, but I wanna set that as the background, which is a cool feature of Express. So that I'll replace my solid color with a background image. Now that makes the text a little hard to read. Red on red is not good. So let's go ahead and just simply select that text and change it to a different color that's easier to read. And we do that same thing for the names, change the color and there we go. So now that I got the color easier to read, uh, the background's still kind of busy. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that background one more time and uh, we'll use an effect. And we have dual tone and blending. So I'm gonna go to dual tone and I could just simply darken it, that makes it easier. Or better yet, I can colorize it, that's cool. And I can even uh, scroll through various different colors like this deep red. I really like that one because it's, it's subtle and in the background and not as busy as it was. Now, again, I could just let this go as a static graphic, but this is Express on mobile. We want to do more. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go to my three dot menu here and I'm going to resize this. And you might say, well, why are you resizing it? I want to make a video. I want to make something that we can all post on our Instagram reels. So I'll hit uh, Instagram reel, resize, and I don't have to figure out what size that is. Express already knows and it makes it. Now, this is not a video. It's just a static graphic. I don't have a video of them, but I can make this into a video. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just start animating things. We'll start with the text and we'll uh, head over to animation. 
And with animation, I'm just going to animate it in and we're going to say that it drifts, but not from the side. That doesn't look good. I'm going to drift it from the bottom up. There we go. It'll just drift up from the bottom. And now that has made a timeline since I've created at least one animation. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to move the reef down a little bit and we're going to animate the reef and the photo. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab the photo and we'll come over to animation. And I want the photo to simply fade in. So we have all these different animation choices with more to come. And we'll just go ahead and grab a fade. There we go. Fade. And it just fades up. And you can uh, tap on it and get more controls over it. And while I've got the reef here separated, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the reef. And I want the reef to animate as well. And I want the reef to animate in and grow. So there we go. And now we can go ahead and simply move that up. And that will, uh, again, be our uh, video. Now, just because we started with these things, if we play it, it plays it all together, and that's cool, but that's kind of just, you know, the bare basics, the minimum. So let's go ahead and tap this little timer icon, and this will give us control over each layer, how we want it to come in. So right now, everything's playing together. And what I would want to do is, again, let's go to the photo one more time. Let's go to the photo. And I want the photo to come in not right away. So I'm just going to pull that back in time so it doesn't start right at the beginning. And then we'll take the, uh, we'll move the reef back in place, hopefully for the last time. And now that we've got the reef in place, we'll have that come in even later. Oh, let's grab the reef. Let's grab the reef and have it come in even after the fact. There we go. So now all three things happen at different times. So first we'll get our text. Then we'll get our photo and then we'll get our reef around it. And this is just just so cool and so easy to do. Now, at this point, if I want it to, I can just simply download it as a video directly to my camera roll and share it any way I want. Or better yet, I could hit the little paper airplane icon and share it directly to my social accounts, including TikTok, uh, which is built in native support. So if I uh, want to go to social right now, I can share it to multiple channels. Or I could even schedule it using the content scheduler to schedule to my various social channels whatever date and time I want to in the future. So if the anniversary is not today, but I don't want to forget it, I can schedule it and have it go out later on. So that's a quick look at the brand new Adobe Express mobile public beta. I'm running on iPhone. You can also run on Android. And go ahead and download it. Test it, try it out, let us know what you like, let us know what you don't like, let us know what you'd like to see. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.